If you want to create a text review title effects like this one, but you don't know how to do it, then I'm gonna show you a few easy steps how you can do it yourself and start using it for your videos, which is gonna make them straight away to look more professional. So without further ado, let's go to my laptop and show you how you can do it. Okay, people, now when we are looking at my laptop, you can see that I have already uploaded a video and you can see that there is a mountain and a lake below the mountain, which makes it perfect for a text review title effect that's gonna emerge out of the water. So the first thing we have to do is just press T or just click over there on the T icon and create text anywhere around the screen. We're just gonna type text here. And when I click there, then click V, you're selecting the text so like that you can put it whatever you want around the screen. And also you can make it bigger or smaller. So in my case, I just gonna leave it like that. And I'm gonna move the anchor point somewhere in the middle. Okay, this is playing up with me. Okay, just gonna move it somewhere over there. And then again, put the text somewhere over there at the screen. But if you want to be exactly at the center, you can hold control and click on the text. And as you can see, Premiere Pro does it automatically with those margins showing you where is the center of screen so in my case it's here but i'm just gonna drag the text a little bit further down something like that next thing i want to do is to create a mirror reflection in the water and to do this i'm just gonna go down there and click on effects and type mirror and as you can see we can find this effect plugin just over there and i'm just gonna drag it over to the text layer something like that let me just put a uh, graphic at the beginning of the video and also i just gonna put it along the video so there we go now we've got the mirror effect we want to put it at 90 degrees something like that and as you can see something it's not right let's see what's not right okay so i'm just gonna drag it further down and now we've got something like a mirror effect but as you can see um, the opacity it's still too strong and I want to make it a little bit weaker so I want to decrease the opacity so we can get this realistic uh, mirror effect in the water to do this I'm gonna create a mask effect so creating mask effect you can use some of those three options you have a lips you have a polygon mask and also you have a pen in this situation I'm gonna use the polygon mask also called rectangular and i'm just gonna draw it over the mirror effects uh, text and i just gonna hold shift and click on both points on the layer mask and drag it along the left hand side you can also do this with holding shift and press uh the left arrow of the keyboard now i'm gonna do the same thing on the other side just like that and drag it along the right hand side and just like that the mask shouldn't be like perfect and you can see that mine is not perfect so you can leave it like that because it doesn't matter in this situation so the next thing we have to do is go to the mask feeder and put it up to 1900 in my case so we can get this uh, fading on the mirror effect which looks like a mirror reflection in the river Okay, just gonna leave it like that. And the next thing we have to do is create a mask for the main text because we want the text to go under the water. To do this, we have to go down to the text, click here and do the same thing as we did with the mirror effect mask. So we're gonna create a rectangular and rectangular, not tangular, a rectangular. And again, we're gonna put it over the main text. Okay, and the same thing. Here you should be a little bit more careful with the mask. And again, I'm gonna do the same at the other side. Like that. All right. And now we have to put the text under the water. To do this, we're gonna go to position and look at now. The text is under the water. But if you want to keep the text under the water in the beginning of the video, 
then you have to click onto the stopwatch where is the position and leave it as it is. Now we have created a keyframe which is going to keep the text under the water at the beginning of the video. And now when we have the text under the water, of course, we want the text to go above the water at some point in the video. So that point is going to be somewhere over here. And what we have to do is create another keyframe pressing that dot over there. And now we've got another keyframe where the text is going to be above the water. Okay, like that. Let's, let's see what we have created so far. There we go, guys. Simple as that. This is how you create a text effect in Premiere Pro. And as you can see, it's really easy and simple. That's how easy you can create text review title effects with Premiere Pro. And I know that sometimes even the easiest things might look super complicated and difficult when you don't know how to do it. And believe me, I've been there as well because every day you learn something new. And talking about that, if you think that I have shared some value with this video and that I helped you just a little bit to learn something new with today's video, please hit that like button and subscribe my channel for more videos like this one. Thank you again, guys, and I'll see you next time.